Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for March 4th, 2020. Holy cow, did we have a wild day yesterday with the market really whipping back and forth, having a bit of a temper tantrum. How about we um, settle into our chair, grab ourselves something to drink, and let's get ready for the hump day, Wednesday edition of the morning market prep video. So yesterday we got a 50 basis point rate cut in the market. And as soon as we got that news that the Fed cut the rates, we jumped um, just a huge rally up, almost six, 700 points in just seven minutes. And then all of a sudden the market went, now wait a minute, what's this really going to do for us when it comes to the virus? And it seemed as if the market was really having a temper tantrum. They wanted more. Um, the president wanted more. And we ended up the day um, just flopping all over the place like a fish on a shore. Just all over the place. Great big huge whips where we would move 50, 60, 70 points in, 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 in the time span of a minute as we flopped all over the place and ended up closing the day sharply lower, leaving a dark cloud cover here on the chart. And if we take a look at our moving averages, notice that the Dow actually closed or the diamonds closed right back down here just below its 500 day moving average. So pretty ugly day overall. Now this morning, um, the market seems to be responding very bullishly to the big win last night uh, that uh, Joe Biden pulled off on Super Tuesday. Seems to be responding pretty pretty handsomely to that. And we're gapping up substantially here this morning on that news. And you can see trying to push back up here into, well, near yesterday's highs. Uh, this morning on the gap up. Um, at this very moment, uh, Dow futures are indicating up 693 points. But what was interesting yesterday is there was a complete disengagement with futures and the actual market. Um, so kind of an interesting situation. Um, we'll see if that continues to um, cause issues today. But Certainly a lot of back and forth here and not a market for the faint of heart or anyone without just a massive tolerance for risk as we continue to swing wildly and very emotionally in this market. Now, having said that, the virus numbers aren't improving. Things aren't getting better. So what we should expect as traders, even though we are gapping up this morning, it's nice to always catch some relief in selling but we should also expect that uh, we're still going to be affected dramatically by uh, numbers as they continue to roll out on the virus situation and the expanding threat here in the united states certainly going to continue to plague this market dramatically um, now, keep in mind, as we move back up, we still have these uh, big resistance levels in the chart that we have to contend with. So um, we've got resistance in here. We've got resistance in here, resistance up here. So we still have significant resistance in the chart to deal with. Um, it's unlikely we're going to just zoom all the way back up in light of um, the virus uncertainty that we still face. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, ended its day pretty darn bearish as well. And as you can see, ended up closing back down below its 200 day moving average, leaving a dark cloud cover. But once again, we are gapping higher um, and gapping back up above that 200 day this morning. So wow, wild price swings as we continue to move around. And once again, keep in mind, we still have resistance levels above that we have to contend with and all the uncertainty about the virus is still uh, likely to plague the market. Let's take a look at um, the Qs. QQQ. 
um, substantial pop up yesterday, popping up into this resistance level yesterday near that 50 day moving average and then swinging all the way back down here. Um, pretty substantial move back down. So you can see we still have that 50 day moving average and resistance up here to deal with a big dark cloud cover yet um, on the cloud or um, on the chart from yesterday. And as you can see, we're gapping up into this area here this morning. So still an awful lot of work here to do in the chart. Technicals are almost imp impossible to get much out of because of these wild swings. Just about all you can do is if you're going to trade, Hold your breath, plug your nose, and and grip your seat tight because um, you could get bucked off pretty easily. Um, let's take a look at IWM. IWM um, ended up finishing the day again with a bearish, almost a bearish engulfing candle uh, down, um, breaking back down below this price support. breaking back down below its um, downtrend here. And as you can see, not looking too healthy overall, but this morning we're feeling happy and we're gapping back up substantially and we're pushing up back up toward that opening um, level here in IWM on uh, yesterday. So whew, um, what a wild ride. Now, one of the things we're going to have to consider Guys, is, is remember, this is midweek already, and we're going to be heading into a weekend um, here again soon where we can probably expect those virus numbers to continue to expand and that uncertainty. So be really careful and think about that carefully as you plan your days forward. Um, if, if you um, don't have a massive risk tolerance then um, or, or don't have a... Um, a solid constitution here in the market and, and significant experience uh, trading very fast moving markets, it may be wise to continue to just stand aside and watch from the sidelines. The show is pretty some, pretty wild to watch um, just standing on the sidelines. So um, you can have a lot of fun doing that without risking your money. Be very, very careful here um, in this market. It is extremely dangerous. Let's take a look at the VIX. That VIX was all over the map yesterday, sinking pretty sharply. As you can see, dropped down here into that 25 handle at one point, holding off of that price support right in here. We talked about that yesterday. And then re reversing, bouncing all the way back up here, hitting some resistance levels in the chart um, by the end of the day as that fear continued to grip the market. So tremendous volatility. That means um, uh, option prices are just all over the place. Place. It's very, very hard to trade them right now because of the massive whip and the massive implied volatility in those um, options. So be really, really careful on how you approach um, the day. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122. Boy, this thing is still pegged down here, very, very low. We did lift off of this uh, bottom here just ever so slightly um, yesterday, rallying back up, but then pulling um, uh, pulling back by the end of the day, but not as bad as one would expect. So this morning's gap up, we might actually break out of this bullish reversal zone, break up here a little bit higher and show some upside opportunity here, at least for a little while um, in the market as we try to establish a little bit of a relief rally, uh, albeit a very wild price action relief rally. The questions that I have is what happens as we head into the weekend and these numbers continue to roll out. So expect very news driven markets, um, pretty sharp reversals, um, big swings intraday that is going to make it very, very challenging unless you are a very quick intraday trader. Let's take a look at our economic calendar day and we have a big day on the economic calendar that could move us around substantially. Let's take a peek here what we have going. We have ADP this morning coming out. That's uh, pretty interesting. By the way, motor vehicle sales, um, that came out this morning. Um, one thing that you want to make note of is 
um, last night, China's numbers have started to roll out. The impacts are starting to be seen from uh, the coronavirus. And what they um, what they showed last night is their vehicle sales uh, collapsed by 80%. Uh, Toyota's sales were down um, over 70%. And their service sectors were down about 70% as well. So massive declines um, over there in some key metrics for the market. And certainly there's going to be a, a tough time recovering from that as they continue to deal with those impacts and that virus continues to plague um, that country heavily so watch those closely now these numbers who knows what will happen here i don't know if the adp is going to start registering some issues with employment here in the united states um, uh, as well so keep an eye on that our economy is still very strong guys um, but we're, we're likely to see some of these fears beginning to trickle into these numbers. So keep an eye on that. ADP, and then we've got the ISM non-manufacturing report, not likely to move us all around all that much. The petroleum status report always has that potential to move us around a bit. And then beige book. And then we have James Bullard speaking. Um, he seems to be um, one of those media darlings um, on the Fed side, and folks tend to listen to him pretty heavily. So keep an eye on that uh, later today. So wild, wild day ahead of us. We have about, um, well, uh, about 130 companies reporting earnings today. Um, so far, we've kind of lost focus on earnings reports here um, substantially because of the virus and the massive whip. But let's take a look at some of those notables that may be reporting today. Take a look at uh, ZM. ZM is a, a company reporting today. Could... Um, could see some substantial moves in this. Well, it looks like we're already gapping up a little. So maybe a little bit of positiveness coming. I'm not sure that that's reported or um, if it is just uh, the levity of the market this morning uh, pushing it on up. We have Abercrombie Finch reporting this morning. Looks like they've gapped up here slightly. Um, AEO, American Eagle Outfitters. Um, no, don't see a report there yet. Uh, Campbell Soup, a big old defensive company, reporting and reporting. It looks like solidly gapping up here this morning, possibly breaking out. Good dividend payer, maybe one of those safety plans that we could take a look at in a wild market. Uh, Dollar Tree reporting this morning and looks like they have disappointed gapping lower um, here this morning. Uh, GWRE is on the, the calendar for today. Big wide bid ass spread so we can see that they have not uh, reported just yet. And by the way, for those of you that don't know, TC2000, um, I have uh, it's, it's the software I use, and I highly recommend this software. Um, you can see it's I can get a look at what the bid ask spread is um, here in the morning, or where the market is looking to open um, with those little red triangles right there. So that's what I've been referencing. If we take a look at MRVL. Marvel reporting today looks like it's getting a little gap up on an earnings report looking pretty decently trying to move higher um, OMI another company reporting today looks like they're gapping lower this morning um, SPLK SPLK um, gapping looks like just slightly higher this morning and PLCE PLCE no report here yet um, a lot of these charts are very ugly with a lot of whip and not a lot to to really go on here um, in these charts so let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that everyone if you could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon so you can be notified every time i post one of these videos you know the purpose of these videos is just not to predict or anything it's to look at the different things affecting the market today and how you may want to approach the market for today i can tell you having traded for nearly 30 years and 15 of those years as a full-time trader um 
this has been um, a, a key element to helping me um, stay grounded and remove that emotional aspect of the market open. Typically, we you know we watch the financial news or things like that, and it's very dramatic and all of this um, dramatic bumper music and and big big promise um, talking heads out there uh, trying to lead us around and. Um, I found that to be very damaging for me. Um, when I turned that off and just really focused on the technical of the chart, remove that emotion, I did a lot better. So if you find these things to be helpful, please do me a favor as well and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. Helps us continue to grow the channel. And I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the, the, the time to do that. You guys are awesome. So let's take a look at some stocks that you may want to keep an eye on. Um, I, I got to tell you, it's it's really, really hard for me to recommend any stocks to anyone because we are so incredibly volatile that it, it is extremely dangerous right now to trade. So keep that in mind um, as I point out some of these stocks. Take a look at SQ. Now, SQ has held up really, really well through all of this volatility. Certainly we have whipped around here um, substantially, but SQ holding up pretty well, looking to open right here in this area this morning, holding off of this price support and looking pretty, uh, well, looking pretty positive overall. So if that can continue to hang out in here, let's watch this and see if we can maybe start breaking through some of those resistance levels and really starting to turn around here in SQ. Looking pretty good overall, one you might want to keep an eye on. Another place that's going to be very, very interesting to keep an eye on is gold and gold related stocks. Um, uh, Newmont Mining, as you can see, just ripping back higher here and this morning it, it looks like it's looking to gap up so we've had tremendous volatility in these gold and gold mining stocks but once again folks rushing to a little bit of relative safety um, of those gold uh, stocks and you can see um, showing very good signs here this morning let's take a look at GOLD uh, Barrick Gold whoops um, Berry Gold also rallying sharply back up and looking to gap a little bit higher this morning. So look to some of those gold stocks. And that's also one of those places that show us, even though the market is gapping up substantially today, we're not out of the woods here. If everyone is continuing to race into safety plays, we're gonna have to be really, really careful here in the market. Take a look at GLD, GLD holding up very, very strong, bouncing back hard and rising this morning. So once again, those safety plays picking up that should give you a little pause about the market um, and the desire to just rush into any trades if we take a look at um, silver silver also trying to bounce back up now there's a lot of trouble here in silver yet and technically this is not a nice looking chart at all but once again we saw that silver starting to rally back up again yesterday um, in this move. And then TLT, um, our treasury bonds. Um, wow, um, so much demand in treasury bonds, Getting going to the safety of those treasury bonds. And that should give everyone just a little bit of pause about the market. The yield on the 10-year treasury yesterday hit uh, actually hit a record low, a new record low of below 1%. So uh, just a tremendous demand for these. As this virus continues to stretch out, folks are trying to find some place to park some money to just be safe um, and it's not likely going to be um, uh, stock um, at the moment because of the wild volatility um, i can still imagine there's quite a few redemptions going on and folks running for the doors with this wild volatility so keep that in mind other places that you might want to look you could go 
to places like um, you know Procter and Gamble coming back sharply. Now Procter and Gamble is one of those old defensive companies. Obviously, tremendous whip in this price action. It may be a while before that comes back around to be anything I want to trade, but a place that you can look if you're looking for some relative safety. Some of the beverage companies like Coca-Cola responding back um, uh, strongly. Again, a defensive company, good dividend payer, maybe something. Um, surprisingly, Walmart, um, just a, a really strong rally back up. Yesterday saw some pulling back in here, but has been um, uh, holding up quite well considering uh, this market. And uh, some of those um, defensive company safety plays might be a place that you could find a little bit of comfort. Now, I got to tell you, there's just not too many of those around. And once again, I'm just going to repeat this. Um, be really careful. Um, there's, you know, there's, you can puff out your chest and say, hey, I'm brave enough to fight this market. But honestly, guys, the market is, it's, it's like getting, uh, getting into the ring with uh, Mike Tyson. We're going to get whipped. Um, if we if we do that kind of thing so um be wise um stand aside when we have volatility like this protect your capital there's just no reason to fight the market just because you're awake just because the market is open doesn't mean you have to trade it remember cash is a position and sometimes protecting that capital remaining in cash can be one of the best things you can do as a trader. When this is over, there's going to be great opportunities, great opportunities, but we don't have to rush headlong into this risk. So consider that carefully. Everyone have a fantastic day. I want to wish you all of the best and I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Take care, everyone.